Alright, so combo number one is very simple. We simply have to go for a Crystal Wing and Curse King Siegfried. Uh, this is the most recognizable combo out there, so I'll show you guys how to get this, but if you already know it, then you can skip it. But basically, to begin, we need either two out of these three in your hand, as well as one of these two in the hand. So let's go with an example here, and let's begin with one Kepler in the hand, and let's go with these two in the hand. Alright, and these two are just in the deck. So we begin with this these three cards, so it's basically a three card combo. So from your hand, you're going to normal summon Kepler. Kepler will search out your Dark Contract with the Gate. You're going to activate it and search out these, the last piece of one of these three. And basically, this is the three that you want in your hand. Alright, so let's begin with the combo. So we're going to be going off with Swirl Slime's effect. Using it together with uh, Necro Slime. So together we are going to go for a Flame King Genghis. Then we are going to be using Swirl Slime's effect, banish it, and special summon Lamia out on the field. Now we're not going to use Genghis's effect just yet. So right now we're just going to synchro summon Lamia and Genghis together to bring out Alexander. Then we are going to use Necro Slime's effect. Banishing him alongside Genghis and this will allow us to actually go for Oracle King Diarc Now Gus King Alexander when another DD is normal or special You can special summon a DD level 4 or lower from your graveyard into the field. So we're bringing out Lamia again Now we can use Lamia to synchro summon together with Alexander or your Oracle King Diarc Keep in mind that if you use Alexander, the first thing you want to go for is the Crystal Wing because one of his materials requires you to have a non-tuner Synchro Monster. And uh, to end things off, we will be using Lamia's effect. We'll send this to the grave and special summon it out on the field. And this time we'll Synchro summon with the Oracle King Diarc. Lamia gets banished and we have our Curse King Siegfried. So that's basically our opening field. And uh, that's combo one. Alright, so combo number two is um, a combo that not many people are familiar with, but it will focus around Savant Thomas. So basically our field will allow us to get these two out on the field. So we can go for Oracle King Diarc, which is really nice, and we can go for Adrian the Sea Castrum. It doesn't have to be Castrum, it can be number 38 Hope Harbinger. But it's basically one of your weaker hands, and um, it still goes off. And this is why I express uh, the importance of Savant Thomas. This is basically our opening hand. We just need these three cards, and uh, we can pretty much bring out those guys. So let's begin. So firstly, we're going to activate Oblivion King Ragnarok in a scale. Then we're going to be using Swirl Slime and Savant Thomas, and simply... Fusion, go for Diarc on the field, simple as that, um, Ragnarok will use its effect, and it will bring this out. Now, you have to pay 1000, but with Diarc on the field, you will just gain the 1000 instead. So, now that Thomas is out, you can use his effect, destroy this, and uh, then you can special summon another one from the deck. So, we're going to overlay these two. And we bring out Sea Castrum or a number 38 Hope Harbinger, uh, whichever play you want to make. Um, but basically, that's one of your more weaker hands, but you can still out, still bring out a pretty decent board. And like I said, if you don't have those three and you have a Dark Contract with the Gate in hand, or you might even have a Savant Kepler, um, you can just search out your third one because we didn't even normal summon for those turns, so. Yeah, if you guys haven't normal summoned, you can always bring out maybe a Lamia to synchro summon with the Ark to bring out a Siegfried. Alright, so for the third combo, um, we basically need two out of these three, and we need Kepler in the hand. 
so we can't just start off with a dark contract with the gate in our hand no we need the Kepler so we really need it but we can have at least two out of these three guys so now we're utilizing Copernicus for the first time so uh, let's go off with this combo so for example let's say this is our opening hand all right so the simple thing to do is normal summon Kepler Kepler will search out gate Ms. Gate and search out the final piece uh, sorry about that that was Copernicus here so search out the final piece of one of these three um, and then this is basically what you want for your opening hand so to begin I want you to use Swell Slime use it with Lamia and I want you to bring out Genghis next what I want you to do is banish Swell Slime and special summon out Copernicus when special summoned or when summoned in any way Copernicus acts as a foolish burial we're gonna send Necro Slime to the graveyard uh, Genghis's effect goes off when he's special summoned so Genghis will special summon out Lamia alright now at this point uh, you have to be very careful about what you do so the first thing you have to do is use Lamia and Synchro Summon with Genghis and we are going to be bringing out uh, Alexander so now we have Alexander on the field we're going to be using Necro Slime's effect banishing our Genghis and this will bring out our second Genghis now we're not utilizing the Ark in this one we're going to be using Genghis so let me just move this down Alright, so now that Genghis is special summoned, Alexander's effect goes off, and he brings out Lamia from our grave. So now this is our field. Next, what I want you guys to do is use Lamia, and Synchro Summon again. Now this time with Copernicus, Copernicus goes to the extra deck face up, and you're going to go for a TG Hyper Librarian. Alright, so from here, what I want you to do is take Lamia, and special summon it out with her ability, sending Dark Contract with the gate to the graveyard. Uh, this time she'll be banished, but we're going to use her. And Kepler, Kepler goes to the extra deck, synchro summoning, she gets banished. And we bring out a Formula Synchron. Now Librarian's effect activates and Formula Synchron's effect activates, and we draw two cards. Next. We can take Formula and Genghis, and we can pretty much Synchro Summon and go for our Curse King Siegfried. Or if you really want to, you can also go for a Cyframe Lord Omega. So that's your option, one of those two. And uh, because you Synchro Summon, Librarian goes off and you draw a third card. So basically, that's your end field, and uh, you have three extra cards in the hand. Alright, so we're going to be going off with the fourth uh, combo. This is a four card combo. Um, you need these four cards in the opening hand. If you only have three of them, you can always search the last one out with uh, Dark Contract with the Gate. However, we are not allowed to have Kepler out on the field because we need to normal summon the Lamia. So, no Kepler. We just need these four guys or Dark Contract with the Gate to search out the final one. So, let's just begin here. I'm running low on uh, batteries. So we're going to be using Swell Slime together with Necro Slime and we're going to be bringing out Genghis. Now from there we're going to be normal summoning Lamia, Synchro Summon Lamia and Genghis. Together we'll be going for Alexander. Next, I want you to banish Swell Slime's effect and he will special summon out our Ragnarok from the hand. Ragnarok's effect will go off special summoning a DDD from your graveyard, Genghis. Then Alexander's effect will go off, special summoning Lamia. From there, I want you to take Lamia, synchro summon Lamia with Alexander, and you're going to be going for Curse King Siegfried. You need to go for Siegfried because he is a DDD monster, so you cannot go for Cyframe Lord Omega in this case, um, because we're going to be using Genghis's effect now. So Genghis's effect will special summon out Alexander on the field again. Then what we want to do here 
is we're going to be using Lamia's effect. We'll be sending Genghis to the graveyard, special summoning out her on the field. We'll synchro summon Lamia and Alexander. Lamia will get banished this time. And now we'll be going for our crystal wing. Next, I want you to take Necroslime, use his effect, banish him, and you can either banish Genghis or Alexander, it doesn't really matter. And you can bring out Beowulf. So now we're utilizing Beowulf. So we're going to be using Beowulf and overlaying him with Ragnarok because they're both level 8s. And we can bring out Sea Kestrum. Or you can bring out number 38 Hope Harbinger if you have that instead. So that makes for a really powerful board and it was just an extension of the 3 card combo. So yeah, that's pretty much it.